What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called Combination Lock. Now this is a pretty cool tweak, it's going to give you the ability to put in your passcode in a little bit of a different way than just typing it in like you normally do. So you can see right here if I go ahead and lock the device and wake it back up, when I slide over you'll notice that we have this nice little dial that's going to allow us to spin in our passcode. So the way that you want to do this is if my combination is 5382, every time you get to that next number in your combination, you want to switch directions. So you can see right here, if I start swiping this way, we're going to go to 5 and then switch once we hit 5, 3, switch, 8, switch, 2. Just like that. And it's going to pick up almost every single time. Now, if you don't switch your direction, then it's possible that it's going to jack up. So you can see here, if we start to swipe, then it's not actually going to know that that number is 5, and then we keep going, you can see that it doesn't work. So if we put it on 5 here and then we switch, then you can see that it actually works. So that's how you input your passcode right there. No settings to configure for this tweak. Once you install it and you have a passcode on your device, then it's going to take place. Next up we have a tweak called Aspectus. Now what this tweak does is give you the ability to use your music controls and media controls right there in an app using reachability. So you can see here if we just open up an application and then we invoke reachability, you'll notice that we have all of our music controls right up here. It actually looks pretty nice too. You'll notice the blurred album cover in the background and in the foreground obviously we have those media controls. So we have the uh, name of the song, the artist, we have a shuffle button, we can also tap on music right over here that's going to take us directly into the music application and this right here is your volume. So you can see how that works. So we can obviously just pause that just to show you that it works. If we wanted to open up our music, we would just tap on this and it opens right up. Now this just opens up just kind of in the foreground. So once we tap done, it actually goes away and goes back directly to the app. Here we have a brand new tweak called Echo. Now what Echo does is give you the ability to add custom sounds to specific actions on your phone. So you can see here when I open up an application, it's actually going to play a custom sound. And you can see how that's done right here within the Echo settings. So right here we can change a custom sound to use when an app is launched, when an alert comes up, also for the camera shutter sound, uh, right down here for the control center slide up, control center slide down, folder open, folder close, keyboard tap, we have lock sound, notifications. I mean we have a ton of different options here as you can see as we scroll down. Of course I'm not going to go through every single one and customize each one just because this would take forever to do, but you can see how this works. So you just tap on this right here and this has all these pre-installed sounds. So you just tap on it and you get an actual preview of what that's going to sound like. So those are all the pre-installed custom sounds for all of these specific actions. Now if you wanted to use a custom volume you can do that as well, you just toggle this on. This is on pretty much every single one of these and then you just slide the volume up or down. So then it's going to play quite a bit louder. But this is a tweak in Cydia that you can download for free, so definitely check it out and tinker around with it. Now you may have noticed in the last tweak that I had a very colorful background for my settings and that's due to quartz settings and you can see right here that I can scroll through and this is actually taking my background that I have blurring it out and putting it right there in the background just to give us a nice little effect now you will see that it actually does lag just a little bit you can kind of see it stuttering as it starts to slow down but as we go down here to uh, quartz settings and we open that up you can see that we have three options we can disable we can use themes we can preview and we can go to the website here but if we disable this is what you get this is just the background so this is disabled with this installed now you can actually use some pre-installed themes that you have right here so if we want to preview that you can see this is what it looks like so that's quartz that's what your settings would look like right there and then we also have preview for panda so that's going to give you more of a black and white color and you can see it just kind of cycles through right there and we also have sky view so if we tap on that you get a little bit of a different color now the really cool thing about this is if you don't even like you know these pre-installed themes and you can always use your background so if you want to use a different background then it's going to look completely different so let me find a wallpaper and I'll change my background 
So now you can see I've changed my background. If I open up the settings again, you can see that it's changed completely. So you can kind of tinker with this and make your own theme just by using the wallpaper on your background. Next up, we have a tweet called CC Swipe. So you can see here, if I open up an application, then I actually swipe up from the middle of the screen, and that's going to bring up my uh, control center there. But if I swipe over here, just like that, it's going to bring up the app switcher. Now if we go back one more time, if I swipe up from the left, then it's actually going to close or it's gonna invoke the press of a home button. Now if we actually do that one more time on the home screen, we swipe up from the left, then it's actually going to lock the device. So you wanna make sure that, in my opinion, this is the best setup for me to have just because I'm usually using my device one-handed, so if I accidentally swipe up not in the middle, it's usually going to be up over here and it's going to bring up the app switcher rather than accidentally locking your device, which can be a little bit more uh, annoying. But you can see here, if we go over here to the settings, and let's slide down here to CC Swipe and open that up. You can see that right up here at the top, we actually have our settings. So how wide, how small do you want these to be? So you can obviously change that up. If you just swipe over here, you will have to respring your device in order for those changes to take effect. But you can see that now if we swipe up from the middle, then this is actually going to give us uh, even right here, we should be able to get the control center. And you can see that the changes actually take effect immediately, but it's always recommended to respring just in case. Now, you can also change the action. So if you flip it, which is I actually already had it flipped, but you can see here now if I swipe up from the, the right side of the screen, it's actually going to invoke the press of a home button. But if we go back in here, actually we didn't even go back in there, but you can see that it opens up the app switcher just like that. So that's all I have for this week's best tweaks of the week. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.